Well, the show that I'm bringing to Brighton Festival is called Digging for Shakespeare, and it's a promenade event that involves a trail through Roe de Allotment, which is inspired by an article I discovered in The Guardian called Shakespeare's Scholar Tramp, about this amazing character called James Orchard Halliwell Phillips, written by a local historian who's also going to take part in the show, and his name is Charles Nicholl. Well, James Orchard Halliwell Phillips was described in the article as a 19th century joker, and eccentric, and he was one of the world's greatest experts on Shakespeare's. And in his kind of shed, this kind of rustic wigwam, he would kind of um, collate a, a, a mass kind of archive of Shakespearean rarities. So he was the world's expert on Shakespeare. The experience for the audience is, is a promenade experience, which means that you're, you're walking through an event. Uh, and basically it involves a trail, a quest round the allotment where you go and visit 12 sheds and gather information, gather kind of facts about planting and also discover these Shakespearean characters reborn through knitted form. So of course James Orchard Halliwell Phillips is at the heart of the project so he will be kind of performed, he will be physicalised, he'll be embodied by an amazing Spanish performer called Guillermo uh, Vecet Molina and you will be able to follow him through the allotment on this trail. I think site-specific theatre is really important because it literally breaks down the barriers. You haven't got the four walls of the theatre, so therefore it's more open, it attracts more people, and also more intergenerational people. And what I like, then people are involved, they don't realise they're part of an artwork, and I think that's really important. And people kind of are, are more open to it, I think. They take in kind of various prejudices into the theatre, where here there are no prejudices, I hope, and people are more open to and susceptible to an exciting, unique experience. Well, it means a lot to me to be part of the festival in general, but of course, I know it's a momentous occasion because it's the 50th anniversary, so I'm delighted to be a part of this kind of, this, you know, really important kind of milestone event.